Hi, I'm Debbie Riddle. I'm a member of the children's ministry team here at Smith Grove Baptist Church. We're glad that you're joining us today. Today we're going to talk about prayer. The Bible talks a lot about prayer. There's 135 verses in the Bible that use the word pray, prayer, praying, or prayed. In the Bible, we hear, read that Jesus prayed. He taught his disciples to pray. I'm sure you've heard of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I'm sure you've heard that prayer before. That was Jesus teaching his disciples how to pray. The Bible tells us that we need to pray. So what is prayer? Prayer basically is talking to God. It's how we communicate with the Lord. When and where can we pray? When are some times that you guys pray at home? Do you ever pray like during mealtime? How about at bedtime? How about at school right before a big test? Those are all times that, we, that you can pray. You can pray anytime. How about where you can pray? Do you have to be at church to pray? No, no, you can be anywhere and pray. You can be in your car, you can be at school, you can uh, be in the swimming pool, you can be at home, wherever you are, you can pray. The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 that we're supposed to pray without ceasing. Now what that means is that we're supposed to be in an attitude of prayer all the time. So when we're praying without ceasing, that means that we are listening for God's voice and when we think of something that's, that needs to be prayed about or someone that needs to be prayed about, we can just right then and there pray about it. And that's what it means to pray without ceasing. So what kinds of things should we include when we pray? Here's a little thing to help you remember. This is the word pray down the side. And these are the things that help us remember the kinds of things we can pray about. So with the P, we do praise. And that's where we thank God for who he is. We praise him for who he is. He's our creator. He's our savior. Um, we thank him for the things that he's done for us and the things that he's given to us. He's um, given us food and a family and a roof over our head and clothes. And um, he's given us our health. He's given um, us all kinds of blessings. And then he's also, obviously, the most important thing he did was died on the cross for us. So those are things that we can praise him for. And then there's the word repent that starts with the R. Repent means that we ask God to forgive us for our, the bad things that we do. And we don't just say, Lord, we're sorry, but we need to turn away from our sin and do the very best that we can, ask God to help us to do the very best we can to not do those things again. And that's really hard sometimes, but that's what it means to repent. It doesn't mean to just say we're sorry but it means to just actually really try to not do those things anymore. Then there's the A. A is for ask. God wants us to ask him for things. He's okay for when we ask him for things, we ask him for things that we need. Sometimes um, we, so there's somebody that we love that's sick or we're sick, and we wanna pray to God and ask him to heal us. Sometimes uh, mom or dad might need a new job. Um, we might need might need a new car. There's all kinds of things that we need. God wants us to pray for those things. You know what? We can even pray for things that we want. Sometimes you want things like a new bike, or maybe you want some uh, a new friend, or there's all kinds of things that you might want, okay? And it's okay to ask for God, God for things that you want. Then there's the why. A why is for yield. That's kind of a fancy way to just say we accept the fact that we accept the way that God answers our prayers. Sometimes he answers our prayers just like we want him to. Sometimes there's reasons that um, he wants, to, want us, wants us to wait, or maybe what we're asking for isn't the best thing for us. So God tells us no. And so when we yield, that means we accept the way that God answers our prayers. Sometimes it's the way we want it to be, and sometimes it's not. And so that's what yield means. Um, he knows what's best for us, and he answers our prayers in the way that's right for us. Sometimes it's really hard to pray. So I've got this, I'm going to show you something here. I've got this vase of water, okay? And the vase of water represents God. Okay, so the clear vase of water represents God. And then on top of that, I have some shaving cream. And the shaving cream represents the things that can, sometimes are in our minds when we're praying. Sometimes we get we might be scared or we might be worried about something or we're distracted because we're thinking about uh, the next time we're going to be up to bat at the baseball game or the next time we have to swim at our swim meet or um, the next the school assignment. There could be all kinds of things that get in that kind of distract us from um, 
our prayer. And so the shaving cream represents the things that kind of get in our mind and might get a little bit in the way. But even when we're, we have distractions and, and worries and fears, God can still hear our prayers. I have this food coloring here, and I'm going to show you that, and it represents our prayers, okay? So I'm gonna take some food coloring, and I'm gonna drop it into the shaving cream, which represents, like I said, those things that are distracting. Now, if you notice down here below, guess what? Those prayers are coming down into God, They're going down to God, He or going up to God, actually. <laughs> but He hears our prayers, even though things are kind of in the way. I put a little bit more of a different color in there so you can kind of see how the prayers go through even those distracting things. Different, there's a different color. So we can see how the prayers have come down even through those distractions and those worries and those fears that God still hears our prayers even when those things are kind of in the way. Um, so when our, like I said, when our mind is filled with fears, any of that, our prayers can still get through. You can see some red, blue, green, how the food coloring goes through, and our prayers go through just like the food coloring goes through the shaving cream. So I just want to kind of wrap things up by telling you and reminding you that prayer is the way we talk to God. We can pray about anything, anytime, anywhere. God hears our prayers even when we're scared or worried. God loves us and he wants us to pray to him. So I'm going to say a little prayer. <laughs> and um, asking God to help us all have the kind of prayer life that he wants us to have. Dear Jesus, I thank you so much for every boy and girl that's listening to this today. I thank you, Lord, for prayer and the fact that you hear our prayers, that you love us, that you uh, answer our prayers in the way that's best for us, and that um, no matter what's going on, Lord, um, we know that we can pray to you anytime, anywhere, and about anything. And we thank you and praise you for that, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. So thank you for joining us. I'm glad you were here and watch for more lessons that we can learn about how you can make your life with Jesus better.